Well, my colleague Ching Yun Sao spoke at length to IMF chief economist Maurice Obstfeld about the global economy. She first asked why the IMF chose to raise its forecast. Well, there's an opportunity to uh, build on the progress to uh, nurture and sustain uh, this recovery by uh, policies that, uh, that uh, uh, even perhaps raise growth further. Uh, and one of the one of the one of the challenges is that potential growth uh, uh, over the longer term uh, and productivity growth are lower than uh, than they have been in the past. And we think there are a range of policies. Uh, they differ by country. Every country has its challenges, but a range of policies that could help in this regard. Um, we also see some risks to the outlook. There are risks from uh, unexpected financial tightening. There are uh, political risks as well, some of which could involve uh, protectionist policies or protectionist conflicts between different countries. The IMF has upgraded China's economic growth by 0.1 and 0.2 for this year and also the upcoming year. What is the latest assessment of the IMF on the China's economy? Well, we've seen uh, considerably more momentum in, in China's economy. Uh, more than we would have expected earlier in uh, 2016. And uh, that momentum seems to be carrying through into 2017. Um, in fact, uh, if anything, based on the data that we've seen since we finalized our forecast a few weeks ago, uh, there are certainly upside risks to the Chinese forecast, which means that come July, when we revise uh, our forecast next, uh, it could it could even be higher, um, you know. In China, uh, this results uh, uh, from uh, a number of factors. One of which is uh, the strong support from the government for the economy, and we see uh, results across the economy, even growth in manufacturing. But uh, that uh, support itself also raises some of our concerns for the longer term because we see, uh, see it resulting in very rapid credit growth, uh, in um, uh, investment in uh, traditional areas like real estate, where there may already be um, too much investment. And so um, you know, we think that, that ultimately uh, China will need to move to a s slower but more sustainable growth rate. The One Belt, One Road Summit proposed by China, which is aimed to boost regional economic development for the region, will be held in Beijing in May. What, uh, how does the IMF look at this initiative? Will it bring new opportunities for the regional development? Well, I think it, it, it clearly does. Um, you know, for one thing, um, there are major infrastructure projects involved, with, which increase um, you know, economic potential. Which, uh, which stimulate the economy, and those will be um, uh, positive if, if carried out um, well. Um, anything that uh, reduces the cost of, uh, of transportation, that increases trade and um, interlinkages between, between different economies uh, is um, um, good for productivity in much the same way as lowering other trade barriers is good for productivity. So, uh, you know, on the whole, we, we uh, are optimistic about this project.